Hello, I'd like to welcome you to the Digital and Interactive Media Semester 2 course. Um, this is the orientation video for Semester 2, so let's take a few minutes and look around the course so that you know uh, what's expected of you and how to move around the course and begin getting your work done. Um, let's scroll down the page just so you can kind of see what's here. Um, this semester we have three different modules you'll be working in. Here's Module 4 and that's a getting started with a digital photography module. As I scroll down you can see module 4 projects, critical analysis and status checks. Scroll down a little bit further, module 5 is a more advanced photography unit. Um, we talk a lot about um, copyright and the business of photography and you'll end up creating some pretty advanced portfolios. You'll see here as we scroll that Module 5 has an overview and objectives page, um, a question and answer forum here, and then again, just like Module 4, Module 5 has um, the lessons here. There's 10 of them. You'll have critical analysis um, each week during Module 5, and there's two status checks. We'll scroll down a little bit further on the page, and this is the last module, Module 6. And in Module 6, you will be um, creating some digital audio and digital video projects. Really fun, lots of opportunities to do some really creative things here. And this module is set up very similarly to the other two. Um, here's the Module 6 Overview and Objectives and the Question and Answer Forum. And then once again, we have 10 projects for you to do in Module 6. Here's the Critical Analysis. There's, again, six one for each of the weeks and your status checks. So there you have it. The three modules are laid out very similarly. We'll get back to the top of the page and show you some other important information. Of course, top left, one of the most important documents you're going to need is the course syllabus. You should have already received a copy of the syllabus and um, read through it. If you need any uh, updates or clarifications, all of the policies and procedures for the course is going to be in this course syllabus and you can access it any time that you need it. Um, I did want to show you the toolkit that we have linked here. I'll go ahead and right click open in a new tab. Um, the toolkit is pretty interesting. Everything that we do in um, this course is going to be using online web tools. Um, probably the most important you're going to need, we've listed at the top, is Weebly. That's the website where you're going to build your um, online portfolio. We have some links to some image editing and enhancing tools, um, Pixlr, Aviary, Picnic, and Sumo Paint. All those are websites that are really good for uploading your images and doing some um, image editing. Really, really cool tools. Um, we have some audio tools here, um, again, Aviary and then Soundation. And then um, we're going to be doing some storyboarding um, in the sixth module and we're going to be using Google Docs to do that and some video editing tools here. So I just wanted to make you aware that if you um, aren't quite sure what tool to use to, for a project, we've listed that toolkit right here for you. Okay, moving across the list is the student list and I'm going to open that in a new tab kind of show you uh, what this page is all about. And this student list isn't a whole lot of fun yet because it's just me. Um, by the time you see the uh, students page. Hopefully everyone will have logged in and populated this list and it will be a long list um, with several students in it. Um, I did want to show you an example. Um, this is a uh, example student I have here. Um, we can see the student's email address and their hometown. If we click on their icon, you can see I'm a little bit more in-depth profile and the option to send a message. There's a messaging system inside of this Moodle course so if you ever needed to contact uh, one of your classmates you can certainly use their email address or you can use the, um, the messaging system inside of Moodle. Either way um, you're able to talk back and forth with me and of course with your classmates. So all that is available again in the student list page. Okay, moving across is the gradebook. This is probably going to be the one of the most important pages that you're going to be using. I know you'll come to this page every day for sure. Um, this page shows every single assignment that you'll do for the semester. 
and it's a pretty lengthy list. Don't let it overwhelm you. It is divided up by module. And let's just take a look um, and see how this is put together. Uh, this course, anytime you do a project, you're going to earn points. Uh, we don't do it the old-fashioned way where you know you can get an 80 or a 95 or a 65 on a project. Uh, basically, we work in the point system here. So as you can see, every assignment that you do is assigned a point value. And so if you do the assignment, you get the points. If you do the assignment but you um, haven't done an excellent job, we'll give you the option to resubmit until um, you are able to get the full points. So when you see the point values here, you know you're going to get full points or we'll give you an opportunity to do the assignment again, fix whatever you needed to fix so that you can get full points. Um, so for example, Module 4, there's a possibility of 540 points. Every time you turn in an assignment, in this column right here, you're going to see how many points you get. Like I said, in most cases for this one, you'd get 30 points. And then in this column here, you're going to see any comments that I have for you. I'll probably say something like, great job, fantastic effort. Or if I don't give you the points, if you've turned something in and this is still blank, I might say something here like, you need to try again, pay a little bit of closer attention to something, or um, give you some advice, and then ask you to resubmit. So this is what the grade page looks like. If I scroll down, you'll see the same thing for Module 5. In Module 5, you have an opportunity to earn 620 points. And because these are getting a little bit more complex, you'll see that the point values go up. And then by the time you get to Module 6, there's lots of opportunities to earn lots of points. Um, you can earn 950 points, or up to 950 points, um, in Module 6. And again, by the time the semester is over, if you were to earn full points on every single assignment, you would have earned uh, 2,110 points. And that'll be an important number in a minute um, when I show you some things on the syllabus. So we're going to go back to the home page. And um, just real quick, I'll show you the contact information. You um, will have one of two instructors, uh, Mr. Chase or Mr. Wilson. All of our contact information is listed here. Um, I do want to tell you that um, we do have many things going on during the day. You can always contact us but we can't always promise you that we're going to get back to you immediately. If you call us, it's probably going to go to voicemail. If you text us, it may be a few minutes before we can get back. Same thing with the email. Um, but we will get back to you, we promise. We just can't promise immediate response. Okay? So the course calendar. We'll go through real quick. Nothing real important here other than all of the due dates for the assignments. If we click through here, you'll see important dates that you'll need to know. Um, some things in the course have a specific due dates and some things don't have specific due dates. Let me take this opportunity to scroll back down and I'll show you what I mean. All critical analysis are due on a specific date. Um, they're due on Fridays. So you can do the critical analysis any day of the week, but you have to do one per week and they're due on that Friday of each week. Okay? And the same thing or your status checks. Those are due on this Wednesday and this Wednesday. You can do them Monday or Tuesday, but they're absolutely due Wednesday. On these assignments that have a due date, if you miss the due date, unfortunately, there's no way to make it up. Okay? So you've got to follow those. Now, in contrast, all of your projects, you'll notice, don't have a due date. You can work on these as quickly or as slowly as you need. And the faster you do the assignments, the faster you get the points. If you're working a little bit slower, it's just going to take you longer to get your points. I just wanted to make you aware of that. Okay, the last link over here is the portfolios page. Every single student in the course is going to have their own student portfolio. And you're going to make that at Weebly.com. And you'll be doing that during your first lesson of Module 4. Um, once you get your portfolio created, you're going to add a link to it here so that everybody can see each other's portfolios. So in this case, you can see mine. If I click on it, you'll see that I can click on the link and go to my portfolio. So by the time everybody gets into the course 
and is able to log in and start assignment 4.01, this list will be filled up with portfolios of all of your classmates. So that'll be exciting. Okay, so I wanted to show you right over here that we have the same set of links over on the right hand side that you have across the top. Those pages are going to be um, very important so we've listed them two places. Um, right underneath your links is very important. Um, this is called the news feed. Probably um, every couple of days we'll be posting news events, um, things that you need, reminders, um, little helpful hints, anything that we think is going to be um, helpful for you to know, this is how we're going to communicate that to the class. So as the class rolls on, this list will keep getting longer and longer, and um, it'll show you the date that we posted it, and then of course give you a link to read the information. Now there's nothing important there, but there will be soon, once the class gets started. Okay? Go to the syllabus, and let's talk about a couple of things here before I turn you loose. Um, I showed you a few seconds ago the gradebook, and I did want you to understand how the grading works on this course, because it's different than probably what you're used to. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to the grading area, and here we are. Okay, so what I want you to remember is each module is going to have 10 projects, 6 weekly critical analysis, and 2 status checks. Again, that's once per 6 weeks you're going to have those items. Okay, so here's how this works. Every time you do an assignment, you get points. And for a report card, though, we have to convert those points to a percentage, like you're used to seeing on the report card. So we've set these benchmarks. So by week three of this semester, you will need to have 250 points to have a 100 on your report card. Week six, 500. Week nine, 750. And so on and so forth. Semester two, built the same way. Week 21 of the school year, you're going to need 250 points. Week 24, 500 points. So this is how it works with the chart. At week zero, of course, you won't have any points. By the time you get to week three, you need to be sitting at 250 points. By the time you get to week six, which is your first report card, you need 500 points. By the time we get to the three-week grade check of the second six weeks, we're going to be looking for 750 points. Week 12 which is the end of the second six weeks, your report card grade again, we're going to be looking for a thousand points. Week 15, which is a progress report time, we're going to be looking for 1,250 points. And then by the end of this semester, week 18, we're going to be looking for 1,500 points. So if you remember, let's go back to the grade book. I just told you that you needed 1,500 points, but look, we're offering you opportunities to get way more than that. So what that tells you is there will be times where you don't have to complete every single project. You're going to be able to have some choice. As long as you get 1,500 out of this 2,100, you're going to be in good shape. So again, 1,500 is the magic number for 100 for the semester. Okay? I also mentioned the resubmit thing. Um, when you earn points, again, this is an earn or a resubmit option. So whenever you turn in an assignment and we don't give you points on that, it's not like we're going to give you a 70 or a 60 or something. We're just going to say no points earned and ask you to resubmit. And you can resubmit it as many times as you need to earn those points. And then we can give you full points. Okay, we're back here at the course. Okay, so what I'd like to do is click in one of these assignments and show you how it's set up and how you're supposed to complete each one of these. Um, we've paid very close attention to making sure that all these assignments in modules 4, 5, and 6 are laid out almost identical. So uh, once you know how um, we want you to do the work on the first assignment, it ought to be pretty easy to do the others. So I'm going to click into assignment 4.01. And like I said, all the assignments are going to look very similar to this. Uh, at the top of the page, right off the bat, you're going to see the name of the assignment and how many points it's going to be worth once you get it turned in. Okay? We start the assignment with a video at the top. Push play. Listen to us talk about the lesson. That makes it easy to kind of get a, get a good idea of what the lesson is going to be about. Okay, so every assignment starts with this little statement about why this particular lesson is important. Uh, you're going to read this short paragraph 
and then um, you'll understand why we want you to do that. Why is a big reason. I mean, it's so many times in school, you ask why is this important. Well, we're telling you why this is important right up front, um, and I think it'll help you make a little bit more sense of the lesson. Um, after you figure out why we want you to do it, um, we give you some project instructions. In. So you're going to create something for every single assignment. Um, we'll be using Weebly.com and we'll show you how to set up your Weebly portfolio in this lesson. But after the project instructions, we're going to give you a series of links and these links are going to send you out to places where you're going to learn how to do what it is that we're asking you to do. So we're asking you to make something and then we're giving you links to learn how to do it. Most importantly, we're giving you a link to the question and answer forum. This is the place you go first if you have any questions. Um, a lot of times in class, if you get stuck, the first person you ask for help is the teacher. We're flipping that around and saying, if you have a question, the first place we want you to go is to the question and answer form. There, other students can answer, or your teachers will be there as well. But if you just ask your teacher, that interaction is just between you and him. If you ask the question on the forum, everybody in the course has the benefit of seeing the question and the answer and we can all learn from each other. So this learning resources section is very important. The next thing we're going to do is give you a checklist for every single project. We're not going to ask you to do something where we don't specifically tell you exactly what we're looking for. Remember, every lesson has a point value and we need to be able to check all of these off before we can give you full points. If one of these is left off and you turn in an assignment and we don't feel like you've satisfied all of these checklist items, we're just going to ask you to resubmit and try again until all of these elements are met. And then last but not least, the turn in instructions. Every time you create something, like we said, you're going to build it on your Weebly blog. And what we're going to do is ask you, after you've done the work, is to send us a link out to your blog and that's what you're going to turn in for your submission. So the only thing you turn into us is a URL or an address out to your weekly blog so that we can see what you've done for this particular assignment. See how that works? See how that works? We tell you what we're going to do. We tell you why it's important. We're going to ask you to create something. We're going to send you out so you can go learn about it. We're going to show you exactly what we're going to be looking for and how we're going to assign points. And then we're showing you right here how to turn your work in. It's really simple. Once you get the hang of it, all the other lessons will come pretty easily to you. Um, I think that's all you need to know to get started. I hope this was informative. I hope you stuck with me for the whole video. And um, I wish you good luck. And it's going to be a great semester. Thanks for listening.